the sinking of the Yukon. Helicopters hired, news crews confirmed, stations poised to feed footage to the big mouth of the outside world. Even a commemorative microbrew fermenting. The destroyer herself, gray Canadian retiree, 400 feet of ocean-soaked steel. Below the waterline, a fleet of welders incises her hull with cookie cuts in shark and porpoise shapes, the faster to usher her down. Later, divers will dart in and out, training beams on her silence. Waterproof cameras have been strategically focused to watch her watery descent. Meanwhile, the boy who wins the battleship tournament has fingers that ache for his prize to press the red button to detonate the sinking at dawn. The blasts and flashbulbs will burst like clockwork. Yukon will shudder, let go, and come to her demise, eight minutes tops. The moon is watching when high seas seep in and threaten to sweep her down right there in the harbor. A tugboat is promptly dispatched to haul her to the burial site, her bow yowing, her bilge filling with malt-stained seawater. On board, two custodians who have been asleep in their berths are roused by the sinking and leap into the sea. Face first, she descends. The Pacific pitches Yukon onto her starboard side. The only fanfare, streamers of kelp, as the boy sleeps, dreaming explosive dreams of glory. <laughs>